President Mbumba outlined Namibia's ambitious plans during an address at the World Hydrogen 2024 Summit and Exhibition underway in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. He says Namibia has always harbored a desire to become an indispensable logistics hub to the southern African region. The head of state lauded the tireless work of the government through the Green Hydrogen Council to position Namibia as primary leader in the global market for green hydrogen and contributions to other industries. Our newly developed green industrialization blueprint further illustrates how green hydrogen can be used to add value to minerals resourced from within our borders and indeed throughout the continent of Africa. In Namibia, we plan to produce green direct reduced iron, a key low carbon ingredient that promise to decarbonize the steel industry, which according to the international energy agencies, contribute to more than 8% of global emissions. The development of the ammonia bunkering hub is projected to increase the competitiveness of Walfus Bay and Luderitz as harbors of choice for key exporters and importers. President Mbumba said the hub would elevate the competitiveness of regional goods and augment the African continental free trade area. The far-reaching benefits of the new industry, further emphasized, were envisioned by the late President Hagi Gankop, whom Dr. Mbumba commended as having recognized in early 2021 the catalytic role the sector can play in reconstructing the Namibian economy. Today, I stand before you all to pay tribute to his great vision, which reminds me of the old Greek proverb, which states, blessed are those who plant trees under whose shade they will never sit in. President Gaingob was one such visionary who planted a tree under whose shade he will never sit. But that tree, shall transform the lives of millions of people to turn their dreams into, of prosperity into reality. As a result of this tireless effort, as a result of his tireless effort, today Namibia hosts nine hydrogen projects across two developing hydrogen valleys with the potential for a third valley to be anchored by at its abundant iron ore potential. As countries capitalize on the hydrogen deals and project developments wagon, the need for relevant technology too is heightened. Tech producing countries are pledging to deploy investment bank policy reforms in this regard. And that's why Korea enacted the hydrogen law in 2020, first of its kind in the world and has set some stages for hydrogen development so far. The Yoon Sung Yil administration, which I'm serving, for which I'm serving, announced the strategies for hydrogen economy in 2022 to accelerate hydrogen economy, targeting 100% clean hydrogen production by 2050. To realize this investment, the government will support about 120 billion euro. This is to encourage the investment from the public sectors contributing carbon neutral by upfront investment support through issuing climate transition bonds based on the future carbon pricing. Namibia will host the African Global Green Hydrogen Summit from the 3rd to the 5th of September this year. President Mumba invited industry stakeholders from across the world, emphasizing that infrastructure producing hydrogen, synthetic fuels, fertilizers, and reduced iron to illustrate the practical applications of a hydrogen economy would be showcased. That's fine. That's fine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.